particularly our professor who's recognized Mrs. Asma James, we in our midst also most in our senior person for the media business. Um, in always good way, people are always senior. They come participate for a press conference because in the show we see really we get the support across the board and the media for what we do. Today we the continue the conversation for bring government program, government activities to the na language we unari understand and language we unasabi. And today Na the high table, we get distinguished people there. We don't serve, and we are public servants. So we get Mrs. Melrose Committee, we will look to the Minister of Social Welfare, so we can give you general updates about the ministry, and we will discuss about push. We, in fact, Minister will tell us in the third week in a row, we do find this simply because na issue we people care about na issue we boku people want know what the government do and we own job now for connect government to the people who this the platform. I also want to make a welcome me Ella Bora. We now na the Minister for Internal Affairs. We na Major General retired. The Titanova. We will all sabi, we will not say, don't spend boku boku years, don't work like the military, and now it is the internal affairs as minister. Then we get we sister as we can normally do, we also create this platform for make we get two sides in voice, for make it is. We get my colleague, we are lawyer, we are Julius Kai Kai, we are the acting executive director advocate, we also come up more for this particular discussion with the but as we know, I go on over to the minister with the host for giving me updates and for carry on with the program for today. I will stop this so far for an over to the minister. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Minister, members of the press, humble and also plenty of thank you for joining me again in this weekly conversation. Please with the media to the people of Salon. I want to take this opportunity again for tell PNT thank you to all we media partners that really carry me live, they really follow me online. I want to tell them thank you. We don't send any questions then as well in advance. I want to tell them thank you. We'll make sure see as usual we reflect that. We know now the pattern we'll get the stats and it provide us general updates from across the government of Salon. And after the update today, I hand over to the very distinguished panel of Ogeya. They may provide two things. One, they give an update from their respective agency, them, I mean from the government, because it's a government press conference. And then they talk on, this, on the topic and issue. We will continue for a gauge on, present us for a gauge on push. We'll get the response and the view from internal affairs, the response from social welfare. Then we'll talk about to a colleague with commercial society. Share in your views there. So make us start with some big news this week across the government of Salon. Number one, very important, EDSA. EDSA, we are the uh, primary agency we responsible for the distribution of power and electricity in the country. Don't write to the Electricity and Water Regulatory Commission. This is an important news. For us, for let government increase tariff from 11 cents to 23 cents. Big breaking news. So the law say, I want to let you see. The law say, now extra they make this request to the regulator. We make this request to the regulator. We have to go through a process where 
they include for our now some extra already gazette this and, and the regulator on gazette this we have to get public hearings media engagement and conversations on this you know what I mean saying at least at the new uh, regulator extra don't ask the regulator say because of inflation the dollar prices of commodity including fear the letter is very detailed. I don't get a chance to read the entire letter. But they make a case say right now, them as an agency and the government, they lost significant resources because we they pay particularly less than all men at the sub-region. In fact, the average at the sub-region, uh, they about between 20 to 25 cents. We in Ireland only pay 11. I will not adjust to it for me inflation. So I don't say they don't change you. I say acts are all right. We don't start the process for me to let this change here happen. An important news that day, and over the next few days, we will continue to explain this and we will take the entire civic engagement and public education process for updates the public on the steps they need for take. Extra request, no means say that I will go for two. We will go through the process and then we arrive at the conclusion. Another very important news we need to clarify. Plenty, plenty journalists there, local and international, announced following the tweets we being come up from the Twitter handle of His Excellency the President that Salon they open an embassy in Jerusalem. Indeed, now we issue the tweets. We have to clarify the tweets for the people of Salon and for the press. Salon don't enjoy a long standing relationship with the state of Israel. We date back to 1960, even before getting independence. Saloma continue for build on that relationship there, and not just for build on the relationship, but for all begin for benefit significantly economically and uh, uh, otherwise as part of this exchange. As part of that process, the His Excellency the President so ask that we look into for make sure say we open um, embassy yanda then say open embassy na here. The venue for that embassy day. You know, means say it get for being at Jerusalem. So I want to clarify that day one thing. But people have been that and it's talking in English because it's an international news. His Excellency the President has indeed directed that Sierra Leone will open an embassy in the state of Israel. This is consistent with our long standing partnership any relationship with the state of Israel that dates back to the 1960s. We intend to enhance that relationship, to cultivate mutual economic and other benefits, and this is why His Excellency is moving, is taking steps for Sierra Leone to open an embassy in Israel and for Israel to do the same in Sierra Leone. The venue of that particular embassy it doesn't mean that it's going to be in Israel, in, in, uh, in Jerusalem. Sierra Leone continues to support the United Nations position that seeks a two-state solution in the conflict between Israel and Palestine. So the position of Sierra Leone is consistent with the position of the United Nations and the African Union. That has not changed. So there's been some reporting that we take responsibility for because the tweets misrepresented our position. And we are seeking to clarify that. We encourage you all to join us in that clarification and we will continue to do that. A couple of other breaking news. Madam Musayo Obai who is an accomplished aviation 
expert has been appointed Director General Sierra Leone Civil Aviation Authority. You hear this here first. Madam Musaye Obai, she has a well established background in company management, business development, cross cultural awareness for conducting international business. She is a strategic thinker with first hand experience in the Sierra Leone aviation environment. And she is now the Director General for the Sierra Leone Aviation Authority. We want to confirm all the appointments that you have seen on social media. <coughs> Mr. Joseph Kaifala is our Chairman for the Monuments and Relics Commission. Honorable Alusain Kane is our new Chief Immigration Officer. Honorable Abubakar Kaye is Sierra Leone's Ambassador to China. Well, he's been nominated because he needs to go through Parliament, designated. His Excellency Aul Safa is being nominated as our ambassador to Ethiopia. Mr. Mohammed James has just been appointed Director of Technology in the Presidential Delivery Unit. Mr. Francis Momor is being appointed a Special Envoy for Trade, Investment, and International Relations. I encourage you to follow Statscom for many of these breaking news as we continue to see more and more of them breaking news here in the um, We get a few other just notifications. I will just provide very briefly. When I know, see, uh, Ministry of Finance, then just do the validation, validation workshop for review the state's own enterprise bill. So that process they, they continue. Um, we, the Ministry of Public Administration and Political Affairs, they expect for host a national public sector reform dialogue conference as alone. And the theme of the proposed conference will take place in October at towards a strategic and efficient state. So we'll look forward for more news on that as well. But I have good news on the Honorable Minister who is still next to me, but since today I will definitely share a new news where really start on some of the work that we don't do, we don't have visit or place them. It didn't have a brief while yet for provide updates on because I will get a chance for the during the for himself. So, when I see say, the Honorable Chief Minister, the partner, Dr. Denis Senge, the partner with the Minister for Works, Dr. Denis Sandy, and then Claire Yubili. And some of them have been witness that. Clean the place, Claire the, and the Lady Foundation for a Complete Transformation of the Building. The Honorable Chief Justice, Justice Desmond Babatunde Edwards, Dollar assigned 23 judges for preside over his total case load of over 800 cases across the country. It's time for continuing for push um, justice um, at the country. And then um, finally, Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation, SLBC, the Ministry of Finance, don't approve. A salary increase of 50% for staff at the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation. It's now another hot page news. We get the privilege today. We'll just, we'll just do a town hall with SLBC and we announce that to the staff, but we also know this is a news item. And a part of his excellence in commitment for continuing to improve the welfare of the uh, Information sector at this continent, SLBC, they front and center of that. Mr. Deputy Minister, I don't miss any major news. Okay. All right, so as usual, on all of the news they need, we'll open for question and answer, and I can feel free for us. And we take question. For now, we, we commitment that for do that first part in 15 minutes, so we keep that commitment there. I get the privilege for first handover to the Minister of Internal Affairs, and a very distinguished professional, and for can 
share some of the for the ministry, general security updates, and you respond particularly the updates on uh, this drug enforcement and drug push crisis. So from the house, I present to now Major General Retired David CEO Taluma. Thank you very much, um, the Honorable Minister, colleague Minister, everybody present. Well, um, they don't introduce me already. Me and the Minister of Internal Affairs, and we know when we talk about internal affairs, now the ministry where they make the country safe. Now the ministry where they make with borders they secure. Now the ministry where they make sure say everybody go to bed and nobody not go around for the hunting company for damage and for what one and the wicked thing. So now a very broad ministry. We get the police, we get the prisons, we get the fire force, we get national global law enforcement agency, we get um, the NCRA, we get um, um, even the senior medical examiner where you, somebody gets some suspicious killing, now they use, now they take for go check you for say, which is actually they do with you, it is to examine the body. So we get a whole lot of um, issues. and. Most of Una, Una know when we talk about internal security, a lot of things they we they embark internal security. Some of which they say with the embark internal security we don't know. Like uh, most of the media crimes they will be they commit, they offend other person, you make that person they go to bed, you don't give a meta torture, all that they not go to call us this bully somebody in the cyberspace. All oh, that's not good. Then, it is, then cross border activities, cross border crimes. We get the transnational crime unit, we took on the way for check that. Then we get the responsibility for CCA, bad personal enter Sierra Leone. I make we get the immigration for check say anybody who will enter Sierra Leone not to bad person, then for check in background before they get a visa for come. Then you as a Sierra Leonean will check you for CC, you get your passport. We go guarantee say you as a Sierra Leonean for go any other country. But before you get a passport, they, you for them will get your national identity card. Then we will give you the passport. Then apart from that, we know other crimes say again with the above this country like a lawlessness. Now one of the major issues then and the way Sierra Leone has a little confused what till they happen. And when you look at lawlessness and drug abuse, this now related issues, you know, sometimes not to all lawlessness now drug abuse actually, but most times lawlessness can come out of drug abuse because you get different, different type of, you get criminally motivated um, lawlessness, you get um, which we call politically motivated lawlessness and politically say the party not win and go make official and go do this. All that in a lawlessness, then you get all that lawlessness back again when uh, as a result of uh, poor parenting, maybe you papa, mama, no man, you find you can become lawless and become problem in a society, you know? So you get different, different things when you're responsible for lawlessness. Now all of these things will be put together and the Ministry of Internal Affairs for see that Sierra Leone has a lot of you know, hot economy. You know, some people they will be looking much kind of abandoned and as kids, you know, especially them big trucks, you know, they put nine people in the kids, say, they get work done. Then another poor man will be come out, maybe you not know, get AC in black that he just go west of Adam Muscadet, he die. All this now other form of lawlessness, you know. 
It's for the guy if you must come to the drum. It's for fair way out for cool down of starting at speed. So, a noble, another scary, a noble die as a result of your own carelessness or your own thing. So, this is a whole lot of things where the Ministry of Internal Affairs they look at and will try to find solution with full application. Because the issue of security, not to a one man show. This issue of security is not a collective responsibility of all citizens. Sometimes you go see crime, they happen some side, then you begin to say not to your business. Okay, not to your business, but then we can wait, it will be your business. So security business now, all my business. And we all forget it for reports. Any of them use them for security will be seen. When it comes to when it comes to drug abuse, we all know the danger away this thing if it continues, which it will cause for Sierra Leone. If this drug business continues, Sierra Leone not a picture. Sierra Leone not involved because you see most of this we young boys and we will have to take over with. Whatever we did, today we can be minister, tomorrow we don't hold the door with People that they will not be minister before we. Now, now we don't talk for being minister. We they expect the other people they don't talk to come. But if they want to not see us, they take drugs, then they go to school, they know they do. Then what in the future of Salon will be what we don't tell them don't done. So now all the things that this way president is very, very serious about the future of this country. That we forget people that we will hand over to. Because we get for old and paid out. Before I move on, I want to ask specifically if you can provide updates on the steps that we, you as Internal Affairs Minister, don't need to take to respond to the Kush crisis. Uh, where I say, for example, you present a, a paper to Cabinet <coughs> last day, we Cabinet approved last week, so just provide a quick update on that summer, so far we will understand the steps that we will take from a security perspective on this crisis. Thank you very much, Minister. You see, um, last week we, we present a paper to Cabinet on the strategies we will follow so this push business go down and say one of the strategies now for them we able to build the capacity of the people that will attend to go fight push. Because the globe is a whole lot of war on inside circle. Now see when you go to be determined, just the way one better, you go to determine for fetch yourself for better. So when you see the other Sigalini and the, the destroy itself, you go to be determined for fight, let us realize and then not die because we all for join hands together for CC Sigalini. So we go to develop the capacity of the one that we get for do the fight. Not to one great ministry to do the fight. We get um, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, we, we get the police and the NDLA, we get the Ministry of Social Welfare, we get the Ministry of um, Health, we get the Ministry of Labor, we get the Ministry of even Education. Because at the end of the day, if we able manage for rehabilitation issue, we want that you go learn a trade. That trade will go learn, it will make you very useful in a society, that you said will contribute because the president in goal in human capital development will not let nobody behind. That man will take push today, tomorrow if we use them, they learn something. Maybe he will learn electric, electrician work, it will help you, it will do something for you. So the strategy in Apollo we develop, the one that we defend the war. Then the second um, objective, now for them we able to cut off the chain. Because if we not cut off that chain, they will not be able to win the war. The supply chain. That supply chain then is very, very key for them we cut off. And the car say not to one man responsibility. You said them in neighborhood. You see them where they come by this thing. You get rights for report to the police. You said we'll contribute for them we cut off that chain day. Okay? Then after we don't cut off that chain day, the next one now, how will they will reintegrate this man into society? How will they will make this man land work when I'm told objective? How will they make this man useful? Because president na in big gold and all the achieve the human capital development. We're not going to collect nobody because it is a take push. We're going to make sure that money we convert them to somebody who will be very useful in our society. Then the third one, the last one, we get to know how we monitor again 
Because they are they don't cry, don't go. Now this one don't cry, don't go. Now push, don't cry. We get a monitor for saying no more, other one not come again, we will disturb we people in this country. So that is gratitude that we will present our parliament. And I have all right, so thank you very much, um, General. I just want for you to get to the General say in terms of the strategy. So, and I was to also just, you know, get that very clearly. Cap, um, the General presents uh, the Minister, the Honorable Minister, take to Cabinet a comprehensive plan. The plan includes for building the capacity of the government for respond to the crisis. All the side will be for building capacity across the infrastructure of government. Okay? The plan include for stop the supply, the side winner supply. We understand say different kind of push or some of them in a supply chain. We should say the plan. The plan include for reintegrate and support the one the winner victims and survivors of this use right now. Because is the bill in charge to win up a careful people in this country. And make sure that say, we proactively say let no other drug epidemic knock again. So like comprehensive plan we uh, <coughs> minister will present, cabinet no approval, president will give instruction for let they immediately working with the drug protection agency and let them get some resources for start that. In addition to that, President set up an interministerial council for look into this. We most of the ministry the way they are so an additional ministry the way the minister mentioned, say so they'll look into this and ask the chief minister to lead that process. Day. Last week, the chief minister organized a consultation. We include some members of the media and civil society for so we engage on this issue for understand. Now that meeting, they will learn, say, the Ministry of Health, they conduct a comprehensive review and do a quick study for understand the extent of this. The component say, the President declare, President say, they want for the declaration of the evidence base, and when they declare, let it mean something. So we, they now put together a, 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 a more robust plan, say, declaration, come or whatever, for, for support this thing. So the government can take this issue very seriously. And I come to you, um, Honorable Melo's committee, you are the Minister for Social Welfare. First, you get 10 minutes, so I want to spend the first half of it for just giving you updates from your ministry. You don't take over a new ministry, which you see this social welfare, very important. With my big reflection and any big news we want to share, I from this, and then you talk now in the last three minutes on which you know you response to the Kush crisis. Thank you very much, Mr. Minister, and colleagues here, and we fourth estate. On a good afternoon. I think, say, um, we all know, say, social welfare ministry, na a ministry with a cut across all sectors because we're generally talking about the the welfare of the people uh, but mostly the vulnerable the vulnerable and we all know say the most vulnerable in our society now uh, people living with disability we we also get the migrants we also get uh, traf anti-trafficking, people that were traffic out of this country. But we also get domestic trafficking. We get all the categories. We get the family, uh, the family welfare. We also get vulnerable picking their way on maintenance issues where the daddy they don't care for or the mama they, you know, all other ministry they did. So we generally we look at welfare of the people. So just coming into the ministry, there are some reforms where uh, they work on now with the, the staff there. Some most of our work was with administrative, you know, for map out the proper way for now deliver the services to the people. 
because that also is service delivery ministry. Now, a ministry we also do not driven, where we know they bring money inside, but we need money. We need money because we get for take care of the welfare of the less privileged. So I also coming into the ministry I, I say some reforms and say most of them get for those administrative actually. But also I try for make visits to different different places then when we come to the end of the day. For example, I begin for go approved school, for go see them begin them the uh, juvenile them where they can also attend to the baby. I also go to a uh, remand home and the, the children in conflict with law. And I also go see the, the, the people living with disability across the streets of Freetown. And because one of the main aim of His Excellency the President na inclusion. So all, everybody in, no one out. So it doesn't matter your, your, your status in society, you get a way we can contribute to society. So we will look we will look at how we can include everybody. So I also go to the home of the agent that can join this because these are all the constituents of the ministry when are the, the most vulnerable people. We also get to look at their care issue. And as I've been saying that the ministry will really cut across because we will link up with other ministries. For example, I see the need for Minister of Health for coming for support the most vulnerable. I see the need for the Ministry of Education for coming. So now we are the home where they try to create then link them in. So for example, in St. Judges, I see say they will need a medical, you know, so I don't need to the Ministry of Health for the same nurses they need to look after the agent, you know, and even for employment with the Ministry of Labor, some of them will people their own are disabled people, some of them they say disability, not inability, they can do it. You know, so we need to try for uh, in the coming days and weeks I've been work on the five year strategic plan. We'll be having a national consultative meeting where we'll bring all the partners, including even the beneficiaries, for them to come up a way out as to how we can really address vulnerability in this country. But also the other striking thing we'll find out at the ministry, now that we get this single issue, the SLA, uh, when a service level agreement and also when I know that the ministry also when they deal with faith-based organizations, in fact, now they will get the pilgrimage. We are all know that. Army. So, register that is a faith-based organization can register. Then NGOs that can also register. Go and work with the ministry. So I find out say the, proce the processes are really flawed, and I believe say that thing that they will for get immediate immediate reform on because most of them they misuse the facility. Some of some people that they can't register um, just for. Get this free. They don't even have a church, neither do they have a box. Some of them, uh, the NGO not doing a portfolio just for go get duty free facilities. So I think it's hard time that stopped. So what we don't do, I don't suspend that for now. With the ministry, I don't, we don't immediately set up a committee and we, we, we talk to the sister ministry, whether the Ministry of Development and Economic Plan, for let themselves come in, then they part of that committee for review that process thing because for example the faith based organization of now five hundred thousand no one pay for register. I think that is obsolete. We can move away from that because we also want to put a deterrent so that people will not go just grab, you know, they can't say for well, now get to free now go register. Then there's no proper monitoring, all of that we we want to put that in place. So I tell the public say we apologize for now but we will work very hard so that we will get the processes and procedures running where at the end of the day uh, everybody will be proud of uh, the way we it will go so that people know they misuse the facility. You get timeline for the review? Yes. We get timeline, we're looking at three weeks most. Yeah. So after that then we come back to the public and make them know we even don't get the website up and running and some of them you know, will be put out on the website so that people can go there and you know already the process and the procedure way for the documentation which you need for they 
they can't register. Because after that, the committee they meet back for them to check everything before you actually they register. So it's not going to be business as usual. And just one of people, the patient with, with me, because if salon better, then we all better. And as some of the things that this will never put in place. So I'll be, I want to now talk on the issue of push. So Ministry of Social Welfare, like other ministries, sister ministries, they're very keen to addressing this issue. And we believe in a multidimensional approach. Every ministry, department, and agency, they get a role to play. Even you as an individual, as a union, the first Slovenian, you get a role to play. Because if we use them both as training, like how Minister B. said earlier, this country is doomed, and we're not going to stand it. Because that it revolves with people that they come, they pass on, we begin to come, you know. So we need people then for take after we. So what in the Ministry of Social Welfare don't do? Because we now, now that area of rehab, and it's so unfortunate that this country now gets a rehab center, especially on government side. So why is this issue we go on with the on the social media, even uh, community justice and all of that? It didn't please some of us, we not be happy about that. So, during the visit to approved school, and I the still come down around looking for a suitable place where some time we could even get as an outlet <coughs> for the counseling activity because the psychosocial aspect is as important as the, the, the aspect of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the one way the minister didn't talk about on the police side. So, in fact, the cabinet is excellent the president, no one way, no even criminalizer. If one will take her as an issue, when we all go fake, they can affect Ebola and how it affects Corona in this country. And that kind of way. So we're not criminalizing it. So for we, we want to begin almost immediately for same with psychosocial counselors, the, the social workers, into the various places who are getting people here now for begin the counseling. And also for begin do an assessment of the one then where we can quickly rehabilitate and get them back into the communities. And we also know say community engagement and sensitization is very key. Because some of them are communities that we don't day and some of them so then we don't get stigma, you know, how to go back. So we get a lot of work for do and only the social workers will train for that and they therefore do that. And, uh, we want to thank the, 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 the government because recently we don't employ over 140 psychoso I mean, social workers. So now we get like the infrastructure for now we begin right away for begin the counseling. That is very important. We also want to engage with the law enforcement agency for profile some of them people here. Some of them people here, they don't even know, they don't even know who side they come up, you know. But we can able for try to do family tracing. For try to meet the family there and try to see how we will reunite the family for the one they will run with. Also, the interreligious council, eh? the faith, the faith people, the Muslims, the Christians, uh, pastors, and imams, we want to bring them on board. And at this ministry, we coordinate them. We want to bring them on board for now to see how they will participate, you know, for, for this rehabilitation business. So our work is cut out for us. And we, we get something that we will not put down. But as they say earlier, the previous speaker has really engaged with all. We don't already begin the agreement. As tomorrow, me and the Minister of Internal Affairs and uh, the Ministry of Works will forgo visit this site for this rehabilitation. So moving forward, we'll be public to the relief on some of the activities we'll be undertaking. Wow. Um, thank you very much, Madam Minister. So for Fabulous Hours, um, you minister in the do the work, the less than a month in, we must have put on the sworn in, but you also already hear the plenty of steps they will take for consult, for engage, for review, to make the process better so it will serve you the people. The minister don't say I don't see the press release already. See, all the legislation process for NGO, religious organization, it's been abused in the past. So you put a stop, it is review, and it sanitize that process there, and it will be very transparent we you don't. So we know who that gets now this legislation, who that gets this review, who that not get, and all of that. On the push crisis, the headline really talk, we are now alone a loss. And that's really thick. 
human centered approach. Not to guns blazing, not to war with the whole big say arrest people. Even the Minister of Internal Affairs said that people are with people left. And we've got that system there. The only that also supposed to job for arrest them, and that make regular enforcement. For look at who that need for the arrest them. But the people in the government they approach, the minister said that they work already for look at the rehabilitation centers. And then they only make some concrete steps and I know see them passionate about this whole day cabinet. They push this go before. Before I turn over to the colleague from civil society for you if um opening statements and we'll open to now. I get two quick updates we uh, just received. One breaking news now that the Teaching Service Commission, in collaboration with the Ministry for Basic and Senior Secondary Education, and the education stakeholder, they don't launch the nomination process for the third edition of the Presidential National Best Teacher Awards. It only happen, the third one will start, so you can nominate full-time trained and qualified teachers, Teacher, the way you don't demonstrate high performance, they will not show evidence of practicing the profession very well. Go to tsc.gov.sl for more information. Finally, on the update, Salud Police don't issue a press release, don't ban them, boots them. We the anchor and then walk them after 7 p.m. and then. Salud Police don't issue a press release. We see both sending a wife them, they don't do the investigation, they don't consult, they say after 7 p.m., they don't forget it again. For more information for that, we can contact the Salon Police and they will provide for that clarity. But we want for the family and also when they listen to this program, we'll say yes, indeed, Salon Police don't put out that press release. Now to you, Juliet, on the coach crisis, I don't say you, you work for advocate in a legal position. You know, interact with both the social welfare side because when I deal with the victims there eh? and the legal side because when they as well, let me make a face you can be a very uniquely qualified person for Kamu to get these two ministers in IAT today. So, give you your perspective on who side you fed today right now the crisis day and we too now do our civil society. So, we've got a government platform is at the end of 10 minutes, you are in five minutes. I say, okay, we'll go for that one for the question. I think we're going to be in five minutes because we're waiting for two minutes to talk. They already know so we're going to be So I don't need five minutes. But um, with the outcry with the minister again, we're going to be again, we start in the end, also the talks with the minister of social work. Yeah. And, and the reforms there with the minister of social work. Yeah. Obviously, you should say it's people centered approach. But until then, this is the coming thing. I've gone from the top of the road to the gates. And so, this like five years for certain based on how you know, present the point then. You get the National Drug um, um, Control Act 2008. That act will provide this way. The Minister of Internal Affairs can set up um, treatment assessment um, panel. That panel will be get two lawyers, one minister. We get produced the world abuse. So that is a good start. Until we get the systems there are in place, that is a good start. And we also currently get a matter of an ongoing case where 52 people have been tried. 16 have been convicted because they're too guilty. Now there are 16 people in the world. And of course, we know they're calling uh, for um, um, door. Possession or? It's a, it's a, it's a mixture, right? Um, the question will be so to me, can, can um, make a come to how the law enforcement after the arrest? Where you have to, you have the law, and you get the process of implementation of the law. And of course, the first thing, the institution will charge with the responsibility. That's the right? So usually, how police and go, in your experience, from where I'm sitting, how police and go about the then they look for targeted areas. I will count example you look for targeted areas where you likely for fed people that are disproportionately affected by the existence of the laws that we get. They arrest them, 
then go to the uh, trial and then they are acquitted for so long, a lot of the time they get the job. So currently with the 52 people, it will be different different. So it's not a situation where you send the oil in an area where you send frequently. That is how they're all done. And they're all, yes. And they're all going to prison. So right now we get 16. We don't become so this is a good way. We don't have systems in place like the criminal, like the prison system for rehabilitation. Uh, so I think that within 20, the 2008 Act, we provide the, the Minister of Internal Affairs in terms of that system. And it's a very good start. But generally, when it comes to advocates for them, one of the ministers set up the system when they have law. Yes, we can, that is a good start, in addition to the strategy. Yes. Because again, the gap where they are below is, and I'll get to no provision of harm reduction. What is not harm reduction? Where people they don't use for take drug, for example, to take substance. You know they can want to want and say, this there so you need to be for it. There is a process where you get for it. That is the whole point of having rehabilitation center. And even when you don't go through that rehabilitation center, there is also a possibility to say you go to a relapse process where we'll make you come back. So if we get a system in place, if we get laws, we get a legal framework, we provide um, the enabling <coughs> environment for people then we are the consumer of those. Who is also, I should say, from the human rights and civil society, I would say the victim. Because when it comes to drugs, you have so many categories. You get one that really police. You get one that really practice, you get ten laws. You have users. But all of the cases that we see, they go around on social media. Now people that were in an informal economy. So when they happen to the one the way they make this drug as well, for me, I don't ever say I'm on social media where in the city, go read this particular time. People the way they make the push, they arrest them. The poor victims, the way they strive for survival, and besides, they carry out the economy, they carry out the country, they carry out the world. One of the things that people in the story, now for come to acceptance of you know all the issues that are so really and then healthy coping mechanism. I mean, they tell me, for example, a few weeks ago, say, all now we are sad, when they close to me, they go through some form of a crisis. But the difference between the category of people that they interact with and the one they wouldn't have is that the fact that we come up from a position of privilege, we're able to sit down and think about what is the struggle with the whole current we face, and what is the healthy mechanism that we can use to protect and go through their problems there as well. For example, you have alcohol, right? And it makes reference to alcohol for the simple fact that it is a substance that people in use. It is regulated, but you're allowed. The fact that the government press briefing and we talk about alcohol, it is allowed. I can sit down and decide, say, you know what it is? Because it's been a hard week, it will find for the kind of thing, wind down. I can drive to the supermarket, go to the section with the when I get, I get the opportunity to watch the content of that alcohol usage. Since it's made from a particular percentage, and also there's an outline of if you get it, you're not for doing this alcohol. If you get it under the condition, you're not for doing this alcohol. I can decide among the many options there were there, what I want to do, what I mean they allow me for do, now for make informed decisions. And when it comes to the push crisis, now one of the things that where there is a huge gap, you want the way they do that. Where unfortunately, it cannot be part of this conversation. For me, they are able to from the lived experience. You want the way they use them, not able to make informed decisions. And so, because we all depend on the mechanism, we depend on escape, it's very quick for many people to resort to some sort of system. A very quick solution. And unfortunately, if you did, thankfully now the state they put, um, put um, steps in place for ensure that they are able to address this. But a lot of the time, you find out, say, when you want the way for acts, no act, society, they organize and say, so now it's we get. We get used to the community, we don't decide to the beat they want the way users. And it's a violation of their human rights. You get people there, I see a video of a woman when they beat. I am like, how are people, and now with social media, it's very easy for me to single viral. How will they sit down? Or I'm sending it back to the state because of the state responsibility. How do these states this don't see the things that they are doing? Again, thankfully, the state is doing something about it. But still, when they get their systems, they, they will already get lost from 2008. 
we say a treatment assessment panel for resettlement. So it means the people the way they convict of drug use, not for one abuse. System needs for them in place, way for ensure that then they go through rehabilitation and then they help them for come back to society. And I also point out the drug in itself, okay, drug in itself gets in your own um, stigma way associated to it. Now go through the criminal justice system. You get forms the way you feel, they ask you, say, have you ever been convicted of one abuse? How can you go to go to uh, go to prison for some say you own one cushion, one weed? How can you go to prison with prison system already overwhelmed with waiting and get for Then things that are so not progress the corridors of the prison system. I will stop here so for now. Okay, so I don't understand now why make we in this we ministry don't decide say this conversation for let the conversation be richer. We know we just can we tell now always in government they do. Because governments belong to the people there. Me and you now own our government. We the work for now. The work we do let they do so that the same work we all they do now for make the country better. The guy is saying government self don't take some steps there. But something and the way government may not know. So important that we listen to activists them, journalists them, let we all be part of this conversation for move the country go before. The challenge we don't issue just now for this panel for letting set up. I want to put in writing so that we will follow up with we colleagues in our cabinets. The only minister there are missing a listening man. And we, because we also get this team now we President will set up which chief minister they need, we look for what kind of reform they will need for them. In the past, people think the government will need this scene or we in the same country we all get. We want to let change happen. So if I love all exchange the idea here, yeah, let will make the country go before. As soon as I know, I normally, normally they put a, a platform for them to ask them questions online. So you will not ask the question online, you get my it's my question first to ask the hall because while they will keep the question and coming online. So I'm for telling the 26 people they will already send questions then through platform for this week. When I'm plenty to take it so now, and they pick out some of the questions and then the first rounds are asked, and then I can also Una with they are for them to ask on a question then. Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs, somebody say PC songs. The container was investigated by Boloi. Salon police, unfortunately, the coins head of I guess that's the same thing. Uh, somebody alleged say police officer then a part of importers. I don't make we all been get the doctor Naya last week. We make a clear say that three type of push day. That actually the news of they go say push the primary problem and importation is not true. <laughs> that the local manufacturing and local use of Kush, it don't far exceed the one they will the drink up. So I think we we'll get evidence now from the experts here on this issue. So we'll no, um, waste time on that. Honorable Minister of Social Welfare, there's a question about whether, well, maybe you will take this one, but I say, the Kisi Psychiatric Hospital statistics we don't mention, apart from Nandi, whose other data we would look for and how the government they collect data on the organ abuse. And they also ask if the national plan we cabinet without proof will be shared. Um, I think I go pause for the one day and give a quick few minutes for respond. If you do that the whole set, you also want to add to the conversation, you can just take a picture of that the, the website video you can ask and add it, I show you so your question we ask to that platform like priority there yeah, so that we will keep the conversation going. Yes sir. Um the PC and Sony container we somebody they make reference to so um another no report on that I mean that's it. And I know get no idea whether the reports push or not. If I guess I will not tell you. Then the idea for say police now that they distribute or something like that we talk about the SLP. Even that one, you know, sometimes come not they make some business uh, accusations. 
Lord we did do some evidence based uh, something. You know what just happened on because you see the police they gain uh push camp. We you know there are no evidence in the police We know that the police like every other Sierra Union you see them on social media they say they don't take push, they don't take push this one. You know, these are all things where the police they take action. The military they take action, all they take action by EU people that we they do them. They're not supposed to do them. But for saying that they can come and not get no we not get no evidence. If you get evidence, we can come for what? You know, the idea for say we go popular, we go bring out this um, this plan. Well, it did on course, and uh, we get a sub cabinet. Um, uh, what they call we, most of the journalists they are present now. We last meeting, we all share ideas together. Once that is done, concretize, we will bring and come out to the public for now. Emergency or health set of emergency for 
because my hair don't explain that they just know. So either you know be the listen, Okay. Um, I just want to um, pick the cue from um, this President Bill statement we'll get for two weeks. Um, this is an embassy. So I go when you talk, I will go to um, the internet. I try for do a small research and uh, follow. So uh, the, the the statement for like uh, Hamas, like a group, would they are uh, Palestine? Of course, they don't make they don't make war on uh, Palestine so that they and save to um, Israel. They don't condemn President Bill's statement for ensure they establish um, embassy in um, uh, Israel. So with all this, will come out from people them a military group on the age war and the country and they and send to Israel. I want to know if we are concerned, if we are required for ensure say Salon get embassy um, inside Israel. Also, I'm an expert, uh, Mr. Minister, Mr. Minister of Internal Affairs. The other time you, you gave that tip to um, Salon Police for ensure say um, they get the chase um, by command of the use helmet. But you get people then who don't condemn them and say they don't want to share helmets with other people. Then. So, so I want to know how you for guide them for enforcement this time. Thank you. Turn off your mic, please. Thank you. Yes. Me now, John Kelly Mara, I've been in the course of City Boy newspaper, as well as that of course of the The question is the Minister of Federal Affairs. Mr. Minister, sir, in which way you are building the capacity to fight against push? Because the fighters of push also the consumer of push. So in which way, sir? I think so we can take a couple more and then we'll yes. But some of them consume my own push. Now they currently, you put five grand on a local get in Mata. They will take that grand. If you they sleep in the net, you fear me not one book use and sit inside. Well, all of these are, are criminal approach and criminal conduct. So when I don't think say is high time we are going to criminalize some of these criminals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Um, thank, you, thank you for the very good question. And so, now, make I just um, pass the question over. The one question about President's declaration, I think we'll answer that so that we left him. Uh, the question here for, about Hamas, and the question here about helmets use for the minister, IDF for building the capacity for the United States Kush, and I you question and Andy, and then this question about well, the users of Kush, they need in criminal activities, so I don't criminalize that. So I did let you lay out the lengthy, quickly. Let me take the last question, or what you want to ask. 
and then um, I will come over to Honorable Minister. Well, um, you see, when somebody comes to crime, they like don't go see something, and I separate issues, and they charge you for that if you thief. If I can't meet you, you don't take push you, you don't so. One thing we can remind that they feel sorry for you. I will carry go men and go here and make them make it become useful more than us. But if you go see, we will forget for the push horse. <laughs> then we take you to court for the chief waiting. Okay? Then um, the issue about uh, 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 this thing for where well, uh, and then uh, yes. Now international safety regulation, not to salon law. Now, international safety regulation for anybody where they ride bike. If now, this bike, this online not a motorbike, the only one is the pedal, you forget you MNT, you understand? Then, if now the one way in speed double above 20 km per hour, you, you forget them. Not a salon law, now international law. Any country, it did. If you get accident, insurance law will pay you because you don't obey the law. We see a lot with the with the with the enforcer because we let the people there was no one that they die, then they get sent in. If you say you know the way out, no go patch up on that. Okay? Because now international law, not to own the salon law. Yeah. You go America, you go Britain, you go Japan, any side you go. Before you write that in the if I put you, just a seat belt. Seat belt, not a salon, not an international. Law. Well, you see, Kush, Prophet Kush, like I was not do it, I'm sure it was just focusing on the police. You understand? But not only police, the first Kush. We get different different people with the first Kush. Even the police. The only thing about the difference between the police and the civilian and with the take coach, police and they grab you, they will go here and take you now. Then they sack you. They will go here and take you. Unlike the ordinary civilian, you don't can go to rehabilitation center. So we will build the capacity anyway, because right now, maybe the next from now to December we'll see some reforms in the police. You won't be able to train between you. You won't be able to train you will show you the exit door. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, that concern whether my sister raised or not, and I concern for not only the US dollar, but government as a whole. And if what did we talk, I talk already say the Ministry of Social Welfare, they interact and you know link up with several other ministries. And in addition, we uh, the ministries then and they make policies, you know, and make reforms then when they lead, you know, to better service delivery of the people. Then. And we know the government in big five changes. Right now we get a big salon. But what we know say with the current uh, challenges na, na, na the world and salon are part of the global family, we we get really issues we underpin why then picking there and even the other one that's in the streets. But uh, President Bio and this government is very concerned and I make we really take the right steps or make sure say we not only they bring in policies we will help we for address the issue ready, but take practical steps including the feed salon where we believe say na way down the way and uh, all man who able to forget food that this country because one of the things that we need care for the Zona is really the food. Like even that day they are one go to the to the uh, disabled people there I can rest go. They were so happy, you know, because at the time we say during the rigid season are the most difficult time. But also we get with partners then. In fact, I don't begin engaged but one bank. And uh, this vision about having having a, a place for less, then less privileged people there with them say but what then they were actually trainable you can able to train them then you know when we work out when you use it hand and here they get a conversation recently
intervention there. On this question of the Hamas, let us clarify one more time. What do you see the response, not just of Hamas, but other groups and other media houses, not to because Salons will establish embassy in Israel, but because the news was reported like they would establish embassy in Jerusalem when I did the dispute today. So, beaucoup, beaucoup countries around the world get embassy in the state of Israel, in Tel Aviv, we are the most embassy in the day. We tell the clarify that that news will be go out because of people just take us in because we open embassy in Israel, and we now we make the mistake. So I must say something about that. We as a government, that we make the mistake. We take responsibility for our mistake. Then. And the mistake <coughs> report because the presidency will open embassy in Israel. Where the tweets go out, the report saying because we the open embassy in Israel, it just had a say na Jerusalem. But Salon in position consistent with the United Nations. And I know say when this clarification go out, that statement we could so you know be useful again. We we'll no get no no threat, we get excellent relationship with also the other Arab Muslim. Middle East country, them who are a Muslim majority country, but you know, we get that relationship, they will also get the positive relationship with Israel, we don't get for many, many years. So, I want to really just clarify that. Uh, now, we take a new round of questions and comments. Uh, we get Madam Asma James there. Yeah, welcome back to Salon. You don't go enjoy it too much. Uh, good to see you. Uh huh. You see, yes. Yeah, 
Well, I say thank you very much, Juliet. Um, they, they make a very brilliant point then. And as part of the university in civic education, I think it's a um, need for investing a lot in, in this particular issue about um, KUSH, because um, it's not funny. And I, I believe the government there is in why the normal declared state of emergency on them because of the percussion we definitely will get. But it's a crisis we get. And um, the talk on that talk on that make a lot of mention on the habilitation, take them, mend them, but not to see quick say the one they really bring down. I mean I just in passing and I believe it's a keenly on our own statement on the Kush. Um, whether they call the name of higher authority, whether they not call the name accused here and there, but the one they really bring down. I mean in order for us to move on. So maybe government also I want for no waiting on they do for that particular area, the one that way they make them all, the one that way they bring them all, the items that way they use. Um, now they first for the guitar for before we say we habilitate and also can them people there so go where they um, where they on drugs. But again as part of the civic education, when I put for air time when I buy a newspaper them for make sure say when I bring people like uh, Juliet and other people them and engage citizens there robustly on the use of um push um, I just want to clarify, say, in order to say we don't want to declare as a public matter, I just want to make that a very clear. We have a cabinet as we know, the president is ready to do what is necessary. But in order to grab no more today, he go make declaration. He don't ask me for lay the foundation, for gather the evidence. Because just evidence not only to see on social media. We suppose for evidence across the country and for lay a plan. We start last week with the chief minister, we convened a meeting. He said we fought the press conference now we on uh, in this new ministry. Each and every one of the press conferences will have against this issue. I think it will show say we take this issue extremely seriously as a government. So thank you for that question.
Uh, that will be the last question. Let me address some of the questions that we can come directly to the end of the government. Um, indeed, we fired um, Major Abu Sheikh Kagu, the appointed Chief of Staff in the Office of the President. Uh, I want to make something clear. The Chief of Staff, not to a public facing role, there's no covert. Say, not to secret. In job, now for superintend the staff in the office of the presidency. This is an accomplished individual, former management background, military background, and the head of the National Drug Protection Agency. And if you don't, please, Your Excellency, for going and come for be the chief of staff in the presidency, in the office of the Chief Minister, I need to superintend the cabinet. I need to represent the president. I need to support the president for support and oversee new the cabinet. So the, the, the roles could not be more distinct. The chief minister in responsibility also for administratively manage the staff the way that the presidency. So I want to make that very clear. And an oversight of the part will not mention that as part of the announcement because the announcement will do not demand that we just come on this week, we don't tweet, 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 on. That is the announcement will come on the week before. So I want to um, tell you thank you for your secret clarification. Um, in the office of the president, I forgot, I like for us if a directorate, so if you go to the ministry of uh, uh, any ministry, trade, Get director of communication, not mean same ministry of communication and important to do the work. This is a president. We care about technology and innovation. And in EU delivery team, you don't bring up an additional expert in technology. Now you know what happened so with this appointment. DSTI remains the directorate, where they remain in the presidency, and we we'll get a line into the ministry. Of communication, technology, and innovation, so we could um, provide some supervision to that. So I just want to clarify that uh, for the people of Salo. On the exact question, what he points out, not so justification, what he points out that the reality, and I point out what he did at the exact letter, and I need to convey to na right now. We get to go to the point now. We get to go public. Forget this conversation. We will probably get they give them feedback. We will listen. And I assure you, say this government, the instruction with the president don't give you is to follow that process. For listening to the people there. For listening to the justification. In order in the interest 
as a government for impose a burden on the people there beyond what is necessary for one of the states. So all that points we don't take so we will take into consideration. The regulator will take into consideration on when they make a decision. And I will assure you, say, pay attention to the process. We get for be involved for make sure say, that process they, they follow the letter of the law. But I just we want to let the like people they don't know because they like that because we get this platform for inform the people of this country. Finally, on the question of whether it's necessary for open embassy in Israel, and one of the most interesting questions that we have ever had, Israel is one of the most uh, advanced developed economies on earth. The opportunities with Israel are immense. In fact, Israel is a hub for technology. The, the, the innovation in Israel is superior to sometimes even in the rest of the West. The rest of the West, they go to Israel for learn about technology and innovation. The opportunities for business is immense. We tell them make clear. It's every trip with the presidents make, every conversation the president they get, every move with the president they make, that only for savoir interest. For serve the best interests of Salo, for expand opportunities, for seek opportunities, for let we improve the economy. Somebody say we had cheap. Now because of their hardship, the president say, we get a relationship here. What we not convert a relationship here to strong business opportunities where we will help with the economy. So now you make it a open embassy. So we get an ambassador there, we will bring businessmen and can say, ah, you don't have Salo, I invest here. How big and, and, and factory yeah. So I think that, that question then I question we very clear. Because we get only five more minutes, I will pass over to the rest of the panelists then and ask them quickly for response to any other thing we will resolve it in the last word. And uh, as we know, commitment and for time for finish this press conference right on time. So um, I will give now two minutes. Well, this man about the unit, I will try to find out. I'm not going to tell him, you know, idea. I will get them to you if possible. Then, um, this other person about, say, they don't arrest people. Then. Normally, you see, we're supposed to carry them to the application center. But because they don't arrest them, we're not going to send them. No one can continue in drugs. We can't get to a safer place with the call of reason. <laughs> but actually, yes, so, you know, we they try for keep them away. If you see some of their positions, how we take them, then how they lay now, you go tell for thank you. Some of them, you know, I'm very, I'm, 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 I'm very honest. Some of them, they pull short, they wouldn't call, but now at least if you see them, they look better small. You know? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, somebody talk about that equipment with the with the Mama then uh, correction as center and for still and vulnerable. This na uh, uh, like concern and I will engage with the police minister for gender and children's affairs and the commission for children, Ministry of Social Welfare. We say that we all direct of uh, family welfare, for long we all make a visit and really see waiting, we will come together because government, you know, they work in isolation. You get all the partners who you bring on board, so it's going to be a team. And I'm happy that this person raised up. We will pay attention there and we will, we will try to address that issue there. Uh, but in a nutshell, uh, I think this is this opportunity is really good so that when people are able to understand some of the steps we are taking, you know, in our ministries and how we are working, how we work with the uh, ministries, department agencies, NGOs, and all the other partners there for where we push this country go before. The social issues are there, but we believe say this we all coming together, you know, we can able to address them. And so me and me approach that. 
everybody in, no one out. It's an inclusive process, radical inclusion. Thank you. For piggyback to what the minister say, advocate the work that is of access to justice for providing legal implementation, holistic approach to justice for women and girls again in court of engineer. So we do offer it fully for what we did. Ministry of Social Welfare, the Ministry of Gender and Children, and they are sustained in this group of cases for ensuring that the woman and girls because they come in contact with the law, then they have the access to justice. And for any earlier points I want to make, because the approach what we call it with the youth centers on the users, centers on the users that we suppose for victims, whatever approach will be used supposed for the security focus, safety focus, preventive safety focus, and we need for sense and well-being of the people there into their approaches. All right. Uh, on the SRBC question. In fact, the memo on the SRBC was um, with the Ministry of Finance. It said based on the request with the Director General the MIC ISRBC, the Ministry of Finance will approve. That and the memo will read today and the meeting. But as soon as I know, the Director General make the request, and then we all push with the Minister of Finance who don't come to see the first meeting of one of the with good news. So thank you for that clarification. Thank you for the reminder. I have this opportunity to give hotel family all thank you for who will join me, particularly the local station there across the country, SNBC and AYV. On a highway live and all the other media partners and the blogger there, we appreciate so we'll be here back next week, sharp on time, and we will also end on time. Have a wonderful week. Assalamu alaikum.